So I'm here at the 2017 ASH meeting in Atlanta, and I'm just going to have a brief discussion about the FLT3 inhibitor data that's going to be presented at this year's meeting. Uh, I like to start by mentioning sort of the big five FLT3 inhibitors, mitostorin, serafinib, quizartinib, crinolinib, and gilteritinib. And I say those are the big five because they're all in phase three trials, and one of them is approved, and another one is approved off-label. There will be data on all of these inhibitors presented at this year's ASH meeting, but in addition, uh, a few other FLT3 inhibitors are, are um, beginning to emerge. But just starting on the so-called big five, Midastorin, which received regulatory approval in both the U.S. and Europe this year, uh, was approved on the basis of the so-called ratified trial, which was presented at ASH two years ago. So there's going to be updated data presented on that trial, and I think we're all uh, keenly interested in learning more about those patients, really more specifically about the genetics of that disease, or uh, of the patients enrolled on that study. Likewise, um, the SORAML trial, S-O-R-A-M-L, studied serafinib in newly diagnosed AML patients and showed a benefit to patients, regardless of their FLT3 mutation, at least in terms of event-free survival, uh, and so some updated information is going to be presented on that. Uh, nonetheless, I think most of the attention is on the newer FLT3 inhibitors, and uh, I think one particularly exciting one is gilteritinib. We are going to be showing data on gilteritinib combined with induction chemotherapy for newly diagnosed patients, and this is a setup for several more phase three studies where, where the drug will be going head to head with some of the other FLT3 inhibitors. So I think that's a, an important abstract uh, to look for. Likewise, crinolinib is being combined with chemotherapy, both in the induction setting and in the salvage setting. Uh, and uh, again, an important abstract looking at, similar to the gilteritinib uh, abstract, induction chemotherapy plus gilteritinib, um, showing safety, tolerability, and efficacy. And again, as a setup, for planned phase three studies. Um, there are some new FLT3 inhibitors out there, uh, some of which were, are going to be presented at this ASH meeting, and some I actually happen to know we're lining up for next, next year's ASH. Uh, I'll just talk about one, TAK659, an interesting one that is a dual FLT3 sick inhibitor, uh, and the initial results from a phase one study of that are being presented um, at this year's ASH. Plus, quite a lot of ancillary laboratory studies on how these drugs work, mechanisms of resistance, and so forth. So uh, if you plug the word FLT3 into the abstract search engine, unfortunately, uh, there's a huge number of abstracts that pop back out. It's a tremendous field. But I think, again, just focusing sort of right now on the big five uh, and other ones as they emerge into that group you know, in the incoming uh, you know, meetings uh, is going to be exciting to watch.